of working or being like, accessible 20 yeah. hours a day because even when you're asleep people are going to ask you uh how do you manage to fit like two hours in your build because they forgot because they didn't like it I, I think that this is what he's saying now is definitely true but i think part of this is voluntary like the poe community is extremely hardcore so it's definitely this is much more true for the poe community as a wow player or just like a general player in general like or a streamer in general i don't think that you have this level of expectation on you in terms of being online all the time or not having a social life uh like for some like my energy level on stream is like maybe a seven or like an eight like i'm pretty i'm pretty dialed up too but i, I like entertaining people there's like a part of my personality that like i get a lot out of that like it's not all my personality it's all another part of my personality i like to sit in there chilling just talking right but it, it's you know different parts of, of the same person zachar is two yeah it's zachar is like a three or four right whereas asmogold is like a, a seven or an eight i'm so mad maybe it's because i'm getting older and i have other things like, i think i'm at a point in my life where i just you know honestly it's gonna sound pathetic but i just i just i just want to make a family i just want to have a family you know when i even break the cycle it's hard for me like to me quitting poe is just changing my life entirely. it's yeah especially and, like, uh, yeah, yeah. wow i'm saying out so everybody take care well, I'm I'm big, you so yeah, I mean, it's definitely a sad video to watch. I mean, I think a lot of people probably feel this way, and um, especially streamers sometimes, they feel like they want to just like stop streaming. And I think also like it's the same as like what you were saying before about how like streamers they feel like they have to say and do certain things. And like for example, whenever an event happens or something happens, there are people like, oh bro, I'm just telling the truth that you a piece of shit. It's like why is it? Why, why is it every time somebody's like, oh, I'm just being real. Being real is followed by being a real piece of shit. The truth is harsh. No, if people are assholes, like it's not the truth is not harsh. Like people are just fucking assholes, and they say shit like that to rationalize being an asshole. It's not that much, it's not complicated. It's really not. If you've ever seen someone say they're just giving their honest opinions, or they're just a very truthful person, it's almost always followed by a negative opinion or a yeah, negative. Uh, I guess like confirmation bias that goes into the negativity. Because I think a lot of people think negative things and then they don't want to express them for whatever reason. So then whenever somebody makes a video that's negative, it kind of allows that person to express how they feel. It, it's like negativity by proxy. For many of you can think of a couple of channels or wow fan sites that are yeah. very negative with their opinions on the game. Yeah. And they get lots of views because of psychology and the algorithm reporting those opinions more than the more moderate neutral opinions. I feel like I don't, I don't, I don't like that. I don't agree with that because the implication there is either don't care or they're incompetent. That, that's hundred. There's no way that you can do something like the corruption vendor rotation and not be incompetent. It's just impossible. Like, and, and I'm just so fucking sick of hearing that that's negativity. You're right, it's negativity, and it's deserved because I'm getting my time wasted by somebody who has no fucking idea what they're doing. It's crazy, man. Like, I try to be reasonable every fucking time. I'm, oh.